What's up, guys? Auto Tech Matt, Pure Tech Matt. Depends on who you are and how you follow us, as to how you know us. But here it is, you see it. We got a Hobo Fred special from the old scratch and dent sale. As you see, there's some fancy scratch and dent stickers and marks. We're going to open it. So, without a doubt, of course, we're going to use our Doyle from Harbor Freight. Little utility knife. It was supposed to do something cool there, but yeah, whatever. It didn't. I'm not cool enough, I guess. We're gonna get to this though. I know this is why you're here. This knife from Harbor Freight, guys, really sharp. I use it for cutting uh, coolant lines, etc. Things like that around the garage. Always remember, don't, don't cut towards you like I do, it's not safe, but we're doing it. Looks like it's got some nifty little things here in the side, you can kind of open it a little easier. Yeah, just kind of like that. There it is. Put all this dumb foam in here. Some screws. Get all that shit out of here. Nobody wants to see that. They want to see this. Come on, Harbor Freight. We don't want a bunch of garbage. The viewers want to see this, not packaging stuff. Anyhow, Fortress 27 gallon, 200 psi. Harbor Freight, uh, this is a vertical oil free air compressor. I had the McGraw 21 gallon, 175 psi oil free vertical also. And it recently burned up, as you see, we had uh, recently got the tire machines. And that we ran at like 4.1 SCFM or whatever. This runs at, I think, 5.1. That ran at 4.0, this runs at 5.1 little over one and a half horsepower, so it should be a little more uh, upkeep on what we need. Really only need a steady 145 PSI for the tire machine, so this should ultimately do it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get the wheels on, so let's get it. Ah, sorry about that, I know it's like right in your face. We got to uh, kick it over like that a little bit. Oh, perfect. Perfect. It falls right on itself. Again, with this packaging shit, nobody wants to see that. Pardon my French. <laughs> Slide it back in here. Hey, more of this fudging foam, man. Nobody likes this stuff. It gets all over everything. It sticks to everything. It's just a pain in the rum. I mean, foam sucks. I won't lie to you. Oh, okay. So we mount the wheels on the front of it. Whatever. Um, there we go. Mount the wheels on the front. So it comes with two little caged bolts, I guess you could. If you would, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and say your bigger part of your bearing is going to go on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, that seems really sketchy. Look at that. Check this out. All right, hopefully that's a little better for you guys, but you go ahead and put your uh, caged bolt, or whatever you want to call it, through. Blah, blah, blah. It just doesn't really look secure, does it? I mean, that's like the size of the pee, -pee. <laughs> But, um... Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and throw our washer and our lock washer on. Throw our nut on. Yeah.
Yeah, beautiful. Don't mind us. We're uh, putting these together here. Together. I'm kind of depressed. This one didn't come with the wheels on like the other one did. I'm going to waste all this time doing this. Ugh. Probably need a 15 and a 15. Okay. <laughs> Looks a little shabby, but. Yeah, it works like half shabby let's get you a little better view here once yeah check that out a little floppy quite a bit of play in them bearings but other than that I mean these darn packaging things again yeah I won't complain too much so let's get it stood up and kind of where it's supposed to be and Put that little funky bracket over here on and stay tuned. Always remember this, you gotta lift your knees, not your back. So we're gonna bring it up towards you, I guess. Don't let it uh, take you off your feet. Yeah, I know that's kind of right in your face. Is that a good view for you guys, I guess? Should have said. We're going to uh, wheel this thing over here and see if it goes into its new home where the old one was. Which is about twice the size of the old one as far as girth. Hmm. Boom. Kind of right in the way of the outlet, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, it fits. It's got a, like a six and a half foot cord or something, power cord. What's it say here? Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, figure out what the power cord is. Well, I guess I really don't need to go all hog wild with that because, um, I'm just going right there, so. Will it stay attached? Perfect. It'll stay in its little groove. Maybe that'll hold it in place, whatever. Some. Cool. Yeah, so check it out from the front. So, from the uh, front, or my point of view, <laughs> your point of view, whatever you want to say, we got this cool little grip here for doing whatever in God's green earth you need to do with it. I guess use it to uh, get your old ass stood back up when you bend over to release the water out of it. But anywho, yeah, you got your, let me think, what do we got here? One of these is the tank, and one of these is your tool. I don't know, does it tell you? No, not really. Let me get my big head in your way. No, um, I mean, unless I'm visibly missing it. My other air compressor said tank and tool right here above the gauges, so you know which was which for the uh, use of this here. So that's here and over there. We'll uh, get that figured out when we turn it on, but there's your gauges, 0 to uh, 210 PSI. It's a 200 PSI tank, 27 gallon. It runs at 5.1 CF or uh, SCFM. <laughs> Forgive me, that was a bit of a blur there. But anywho, big upgrade over the other one. We got dual ports, so I can run two things at once now instead of just one, which is a big upgrade for me. There we go. But anywho, on to the maintenance part. 
Coming around to the side, their fortress, you know, clean air filter regularly, void your warranty, they say. I'm assuming, well, this just screws off. Okay. Ah, there we go, there we go. So that's a pretty cheesy filter. Not gonna lie, we will find a modification for that over time, guys. So uh, stay tuned. But there you go. There you have it. You do not need to do what I did and unscrew the whole thing. Out of the side of the motor. Okay, kind of just locks in there. Cool. Anywho, there's that. Um, hmm. I see what these are for now. Stay tuned. So evidently these two screws here are for your very poorly shaped hose hanger. Isn't that cute? Let's get this in here. Of course, these goofy little lock washers, lock nuts, whatever you want to say. Probably should have brought a ratchet wrench, but for now, I got my trusty uh, Capri four way angle wrench. These things are wicked sweet. Stay over there. We're just going to use a socket. Much better. Much better deal here. Oh yes, that is great. Spectacular. Feels so much better. I can just use my hands. Oh yes, perfect. So, yeah, you see, cute little air hose holder, I guess, for the air hose that's above it on the reel. That'll never get used, but it's there for the times we think we may want to use it, I guess. That's how I'm going to use it. I'm going to tuck my power cord up in there. It's perfect. So, that's that. Well, guys, that's about that for my uh, shop shenanigans for the night. It's like 10.30. We're, uh, yeah, we're going to go inside. We'll see you all in the morning. There's the Fortress High Performance Air Compressor. 27-gallon, 200 PSI. It runs uh, a bit higher and a bit better than the other air compressor we had. It kind of took a shit running a tire machine, so that's why we're... Where we are right now with this one, it looks like this hose is the next thing that's going to take a shit on us. But until then, thanks for watching, y'all. Like, subscribe, comment, stay tuned. Auto Tech Matt, out.